Good day Great Tens, welcome to our next lesson in Finance and Growth. Today we're going to be looking at inflation. Inflation is an average increase in the price of goods each year. It is given in a percentage and because it increases from year to year it is calculated using the compound interest. So let's do a couple of examples to get an idea of inflation. It says one loaf of bread costs 750 rand. How much will it cost in three years time if the inflation rate is 9.6% per annum? The inflation rate is 9.6% per annum. So they told us that the inflation rate is always calculated in using the compound interest. So A is equal to P times 1 plus I to the power of N. Now, listen to me carefully, great tens. Just as much as you need to know that higher purchase is always simple interest, you need to know that inflation rate is a compound interest. So now, let's work it out. They want to know that originally the price was 7 rand 50. So that means our original price was 7 rand 50. They tell us that the interest rate is 9.6%. The interest rate is 9.6 divided by 100, which is going to be 0, 0.096. They tell us that they want to know how much will this loaf of bread cost? How much will the loaf of bread cost if we have inflation for three years? So what are we going to do? We're going to calculate it. So we're going to go A is equal to 7 Rand 50 times by 1 plus 0 0.096 to the power of 3. Therefore, do you agree that 7 rand 50 times by 1.096 all to the power of 3? And then we're going to grab our calculator and we're going to say, okay, fine, let's do that. So I always tend to do the brackets first. So go 1.096 all to the power of 3. And that gives me 1.32. 1.32. So that is equal to 7 Rand 50 times by 1.32. You don't have to write that out, that power it out. I'm just writing it out so you can see where I get the numbers. And then I multiply this by 7 Rand 50. And I get with my loaf of bread is going to cost me 9 Rand 87 in two years' time. It's going to cost me. 9 Rand and 87 cents in three years time. So that's how inflation works. Let's do another example now. It says a box of tissues costs 18 Rand today. So that is the amount of money I'm paying today. Then it says how much did it cost two years ago if the average rate of inflation was 9% per annum. So what you need to realize is that a is what we are paying now, what we get out now. So the A is my 18 Rand. My principal is what I paid originally, what the original price was. The I is 9% over 100 to get it to be a decimal, which is 0, 0, 9. And N is 2 years. So if we substitute it again into our compound interest, because again, Inflation is a compound interest um, formula. It has to be under the compound interest formula because it gets increased every year. So we've got 18 is equal to P times by 1 plus 0 0.09 to the power of 2. Therefore, we can say P is equal to 18 divided by 1.09 all to the power of 2. Okay, so let's pop that in our calculators and see what we get. So we go tab and we go, okay, fine. This is going to be 18 divided by bracket 1.09 bracket squared equals. So it's 15.15. So two years ago, I was paid 15 Rand and 5 cents for my principal, I mean for my box of tissues, and now I'm paying 18 Rand. And that, great tens, is inflation. That's it. That's how easy it is. So please go practice, 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 and then go and do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day. Ooh.